They'll be calling you a radical. Hi, Kevin Lanch. I wanted to talk about Fukushima. I was going to do this video outside, but it's 10 degrees out there now. We haven't been above freezing for weeks and weeks and weeks. And if you skiers like it, we've got so much power here to handle that. Oh, there's no moisture in the snow. We have a lot of it. Look, as far as in regard to Fukushima, I want to talk about into the Pacific and what's going on with Fukushima. As a lot of people have been emailing me, hey, Kevin, what's going on, going on? You know, I'll continue to give updates. First, I want to talk about, you know, my fight with leukemia as I've been going along. A lot of people know my fight. Aren't those the coolest things you ever saw? A woman gave me those today. What a beautiful gift. What a great gift. Oh, I love them. But let's talk about it. Okay, who's? Who I? Who I did there? And I'm going to post this article, and we're going to talk about conspiratorial nature of what I call the black and yellow journalism. Let's talk about this. As it was written by the same person who wrote this article, which is a very well written article, that all oh, the early days, you know, there's people, you know, he's referring to me and others, how we say it's all a conspiracy. It is conspiracy. Look, you cannot lump one conspiracy with all of the conspiracies. As we talk about the conspiratorial nation, Fukushima has never been properly ever. Let's talk about his, it has been pouring into the Pacific every day now for we're going on 700 days. Every day, continuously. Let's talk, this article says it perfectly. Look, to you people that are just viewing, it's been dumping. PU's half-life is at least at the minimum 24,000 years. Okay, the jet stream and the ocean currents are very similar. As the water, who's reported this is all these people descended on Tokyo with day 100 after this happened and did their studies, and they were finding, in their own words, this is who studied, H-W-H-O-I, the Massachusetts Institute. We're finding eddies where it's settling of thousands of times into the plankton. Okay, the ocean current works like the jet stream. So the ocean current, you think, oh, it's just going to be dumped in there, slowly going to dissolve. It doesn't work that way. It gets into the current and the flow and deposits, okay? So you got, so when we're eating fish, we're eating, we don't know, we don't know if that pocket of 700 days of plutonium is hundreds of thousands of times plutonium because the fish are not marketed. As I said, when it came down to the budget debate, which is going now, they pulled money out of the food inspection, which they should have done the opposite. It is the ignorance that is this cloud of soot that is falling down over Utah, the dirty air. I say it is not smog. It is ignorance. It is ignorance. So, we have this, we know this factually, yet no one will report it. Let's talk about the conspiratorial nature. They says, oh, this is not conspiratorial. It is conspiratorial. Look, and if you don't think, okay, and we group all conspiracies with no conspiracies, and they're just like we do everything else in this country. We group all of this guy's, you know, put a tin hat. These guys did put a tin hat on me and his videos. I don't see them guys, and I think they pulled them down. As I got leukemia after I ran and raved and carried on about this, Lance Armstrong. I've ranted about that phony as I'm a cancer survivor so far, full of cancer, given two months to live. I mean, I have an extremely hardcore, radical form of cancer. But if you guys are watching, you know what kind of treatment I've walked the walk and gone through. He disgusts me. He makes me sick. So if you don't think conspiracies can work in this country, how, how much media was covered on Lance Cain Armstrong over the last decade? You know, 15 years. You know, there was leaks coming out. It, his Oliver Stone says it so perfectly. It's, I shouldn't have called it the untold history because it is told. It's just a matter of what people want to listen to as you buy into the hyperbole. Look, the media blackout on Fukushima is no doubt a conspiracy. It's been a conspiracy from day one. I can prove it. As I did on March 26th, as that video of Gupta and CNN, that is so, I mean, if you watch that or read that transcript and you don't know it's conspiratorial, you, as it says, oh, what about the 9-11? 9-11 was conspiracy by definition. By definition, I mean, 19 Saudis, you know, or 15, you know, that flew the plans in. Okay, the money has been traced, HSBC, you know, the money's area traceable. Now, leading up, that's a whole, you know, I'm not going to get into that, but after, we obviously know. So, media coverage of the marine biologists, I have two whistleblowers with. I, I can prove the conspiracy nature through the freedom of information. You wouldn't believe this stuff I have. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it via litigation as future generations will mitigate to the Pacific. The Pacific is contaminated big time forever. Well, at least, you know, 24 to 50,000 years. You can't eat fish anymore. Seriously, you can't do it. I I'm serious. I'm serious. You cannot. I mean, 700 days full. Look, as I gave that report on April the 3rd, exactly now it's come out two weeks later that it was leaking simultaneously, Cassandra. Wow. 
They, they've been pouring plutonium into the Pacific. This is the IA, the greatest conspiratorial powerhouse in history is, as it was said in the Battle of Chernobyl, is the greatest line I believe ever spoken. What came out of that reactor meltdown was not season, was not plutonium, it was lies. That set the playbook. I mean, it blows my mind how the IAA was able to pull that off. As the IAA was able to pull this off, the Fukushima blackout is people like me and others, it is our obligation. It is our obligation to keep going with this, as I told a guy this morning, a cancer survivor, a leukemia so The type of leukemia he and I have, only 20% of us survive. So we have an obligation to all those in the past in front of us and in the future. The moral to this story is live like you have cancer today. You can't eat fish on service. I mean, I love to. It's one of my favorite foods. I don't need it anymore. It's sad commentary. We will not protect ourselves. The ocean bottom line is so contaminated, it is obscene and ridiculous. And no one's going to report this to you. There is, there is a blackout by law. This is no conspiratorial talk. Factually, you, the Japanese government has orchestrated a blackout for root. The IAA is orchestrated. The IAA is the most evil, corrupt organization. They make the banksters, they make all of because we are all we, the jet stream tells us so. I'll post some of these articles and these links. This one article is written so beautifully. To you people, look, we're going on 700 days, four full core meltdowns in full China syndrome, full blown out China syndrome, leaking into the Pacific. Logic, has this country completely lost logic, Lance Armstrong? Oh, conspiracy can't happen, Lance Armstrong. Oh, yes, they can happen, and they do happen all the time. There's a huge one, everybody says, why? It blows my mind as to why. You know, because the 1%, it is the crown and jewel of the 1%, the IA, they think they're immune to cancer. Look at all the people that are showing up in the media, in the celebrity world with cancer right now. Cancer is becoming an epidemic right here, right now. And let me tell you here, right here, right now, if you get leukemia and you get cancer, you get second opinion, third opinion, for because these things are creative, dynamic. I was misdiagnosed by 12 doctors, that are good doctors, and shitty ones. It was my own militant fight, and I found a YouTube video of the cancer slicing, and it took Miracle of America, I met girl, I got lucky and landed in this brilliant hospital, and they saved my life, so far. I'll be in New York tomorrow. For an extended period of time, I have a whole bunch of stuff planned, meetings planned, with people. This story is just getting started. The byproduct of all this is cancer. Evil, brutal cancer. Time for everyone to come out of denial, and if you don't believe that it was a media blockout, this conspiratorial, you are ignorant as it is. Lance Armstrong. He was lying the whole time. The whole time. People say, oh, you can't orchestrate. But look what his small little machine orchestrated. I mean, I used to tell this people for three or four years, they would almost want to fight me. <sighs> Fukushima is the greatest disaster in world history. Fukushima is going to kill tens of millions of people over many generations, and people, when they die, won't even know that that killed them. Nuclear fallout is a cumulative. We all have the Nevada test site in us. We all have Chernobyl in us. We all have Fukushima in us. Do I think it sent me over the top? I do. I honestly believe that Fukushima sent me over the top. I just couldn't take it. And people say, why does one person not get it? I call it the reverse lottery. You know, it's the reverse lottery that I got it. I mean, what's the odds of me giving the first reports, going crazy, saying, you watch my videos, leukemia, leukemia, and then me getting it? It's like reverse lottery, but me being saved in the fashion that I was saved, I was so cute, such a hardcore, aggressive version of this. I say, it's like hitting a pick six at Saratoga on a triple carryover day on two borrowed dollars, and then taking two more borrowed dollars and hitting a, the same, a pick six the same day at Del Mar. I got a miracle, so I have an obligation, so all of us do. This is cancer, that's real cancer, so why not liars like Lance Armstrong? We have an obligation to those angels that pass in front of us. That's who we need to fight for and to educate until they become unignorant. And I will bet you six wild horses, oh cursed spike, that I was ever born to set this right. It is what it is. And my time is my time. And I got a second chance by a whole bunch of different people, a lot of mean people. Prayers on beaches and temples, whatever. But let's get logic and let's get reality and don't fall for this stuff that, oh, it's just not a conspiracy to the media blackout. These guys just don't want to report. It is a media blackout. Japan, Lance Armstrong, Conspiracy, HSBC, 
That's where the money, you know, I was a derivative arbitrage special. I was a derivative trader when 9 11 happened. We can trace them on very traceable. They bought puts on the airline stocks. We knew that. We knew that. Very traceable. And then, pff, come on, show a little logic. Now we're reporting now. Too big to jail, so beautifully reported by the Young Turks. That she such a beautiful report. I love that. I love that, by the way. You know, RT doing all the great work. Current TV was doing some great work. Well, he was. I know that. Elliot Spitzer, I hope to meet with some of his people while I'm back there. The media blockout is very, very real on Fukushima. Very, very real. And to the people that are doing it, the Guptas, let's go fishing on Lake Chernobyl. Karma's a bitch, is all I can say. You know? But the thing that's sad is the people that are taking that did not participate. Innocent people, millions of innocent are people because of your black and yellow journalism. 700 days in the Pacific. I'll stay on any breaking news I can find. Jan, Miss Milky the Clown, you know, Christina Ratchick, they're great sources for information. Fukushima Diary, go there every day. Incredible place for information. Stay on this. Stay on this. And fight for yourself, for your own people, for your children, for everybody, for future generations. Stay on this. And all of you activists, it's been a lot of work. The story is changing because of all of you. Because of our rants and our creativity and all of it, we have changed the dynamic on this. You know a lot of my videos are so intense and I will intentionally to try to wake the dogmatic messes up because I'm tired of the no post activism. This has to be fought with knowledge and so many are fighting and on the forefront. Stay tuned. Kevin Blanche.